rapidly aging society, like in Japan, uh, reducing aging associated diseases is critical. Age impacts on our health. It causes uh, many chronic inflammatory diseases that damage our quality of life. We are eager to improve the health of aging population. I'm Emi Nishimura, working at the Division of Aging and Regeneration at the Institute of Medical Science. So we are working on uh, stem cell in the skin. It's a so critical role in development of age-associated diseases. So the skin is a protective barrier from outside world, even under different kinds of stress, such as UV sunlight. The reason why we are working on stem cell in the skin is that we can see and trace the fate and dynamics of stem cell in tissues. And also, uh, we can see the function of stem cell in real-time manner by simply looking at the skin surface. It is very important to understand the cellular fate and dynamics of uh, damaged stem cells in skin. And those cells interact with the surrounding epidermal stem cell and decide those cells should stay in the epidermis or should be eliminated from the skin surface. Uh, my name is Yuma. I'm using this microscopy to understand the dynamics of epidermal stem cell. And this image shows the uh, DNA damage epidermal stem cells in this green color. And then I'm looking at that in detail, it is uh, red, red dot means DNA damage. So we are looking at the processes of stem cell elimination. So in general, uh, damage the cell, stay in skin, and those cells are responsible for skin aging. But our research has revealed damaged stem cells are constantly eliminated, and it can uh, explain how our skin can be healthy for a long, long time. But after repetition of the processes, the cell elimination uh, become inefficient. That could be uh, the cause of this uh, uh, epidermal aging. We are working on live imaging of epidermal organoid. We are trying to look at the Fate, uh, the dynamics of the epidermal stem cell. Hello, my name is Liang and I'm an international student from China. Uh, right now I'm a PhD first year student. And today I'm looking at uh, organoid eye culture for my experiment. And by using this machine, I can like take one photo uh, every 10 minutes so I can trace the organoid like one day or two days, and I can see the fate of the organoid. For example, this is a picture of the organoid I just showed before. And by using different color, you can see different situation of this organoid. For example, um, the organoid can have some damage, and by using different markers, we can see that which part of the organoid have some damages or other and see the situation. So we are going to apply our knowledge to understand our systemic frailty and also uh, to treat intractable diseases by doing so, uh, our team is eager to achieve healthy aging.